All right. So, uh, so the issue is just it's protecting. It's making it look nicer. So what was the key in electric plating? Electricity. Electricity. And then water. And, and, and water, right? So, so we can move the, the metals. Why do they use like, like electricity in it? The transfer. Yeah, because it, it makes it the stuff move. Um, so what can you what metals can you electroplate with? Pretty much anything that's conductive. Right? Yeah. So So metals. Examples? Iron, aluminum, titanium. Titanium. But do you want to electroplate to now I'm asking you what do you want to electroplate with? No. So the metals that we electro we electroplate with. Copper. Yeah, gold. Copper. Um, what else? Uh, titanium. Yeah. Titanium. What else? Nickel. Yeah, nickel. Silver. Steel. That'd be kind of stupid, doesn't it? Isn't the point to reduce corrosion? Does it still corrode a lot? No. What do you have on your car a lot? Or maybe not your car, but people use on cars a lot. Cold roll steel? Steel? No. Paint? That shiny stuff? Paint? <laughs> Chrome? Chrome. I was just going to say on that some people. Okay. On <laughs> wheels, tires. What do, what do Harley people put a lot on their bikes? Uh, leather. <laughs> um, so, what are, so, why would they gold plate stuff? Nice because you're a super baller. And you want to, everybody the money, huh? That's <laughs> another reason, nice. the, besides appearance, so, like jewelry, gold, gold plated a lot. Gold but but like why would we conductive. gold plate them in an industrial setting? Conductive. It's conductive. Why not use copper? Because gold is more conductive. Gold's, be gold's better, right? So more conductive. So you can also use it to, cha to change your properties. Um, it would, it would have, so. <clears throat> what about anodizing? Anodizing. It's a corrosive protection. And wh how, what is it? It's a layer so of Electroplating, we actually put new metal on top of it. Yes. Right? So we, we put one metal on top of the other metal. And we can do it in different thicknesses, right? We can have it thin or thick. What about anodizing? It's a corrosion. It, it is a form of corrosion. It's an, it doesn't oxidize layer. So on steel, we have iron oxide that forms, and that's rust, which is a bad corrosion. With other materials like titanium, and aluminum. aluminum, the oxide coating is protective. It makes it, it's not damaging to the, to the underlying material. <clears throat> and so we can add that layer in there. So like on aluminum, here we've got the, the metal. And then we can put, we can anodize it and have it anodized down into it. And also while we're doing the anodizing, we can add in color. We're going to add dyes into the anodizing mix. So now we can get some color dye trapped in that layer. And so that's how they do things like this. So it's 
those are all aluminum parts, and they're just got a different dye color in the andites. So we trap the dye color. Yeah, so we trap we just trap that trap the dye in that oxide layer. Because the oxide layer here is clear. <coughs> so usually for aluminum, anodizing is the way to protect it and color it. So instead of painting aluminum, um, it's some method like we'll talk about next week. Aluminum though, they'll, they'll anodize it. Because then what do you get if you're you're just changing that top surface layer? How does it help you as the manufacturer? Wait, if you're changing it? Yeah, you, if you're if you're anodizing it, what do you Protected. Yeah, you're protecting it, it's the same material. It, it's not getting a lot bigger. Because oh. um, it kind of goes it kind of goes both ways. So you don't have as much size. And also that, that color layer is all the way through that protection. So it's not and it's also on. really hard. Yeah. So it makes it hard when you yeah. So like if you try and weld aluminum, you always have to scrub it first. So the way you're doing it is just scrub it off the natural oxidation level. And but when you anodize, you actually make that that layer thick, layer yeah, thicker. Anodize is really hard to get off. Yeah. I tried. Yeah. So then we had metallicizing. So what was metallicizing? Oh. When you add a, a layer of aluminum or whatever to a plastic coat to a plastic piece. Yeah, so we add some some metallic to to plastic pieces. Mm -hmm. And so Reggie asked, why isn't this as as durable as plating? Because it's got plastic in it. Yeah, that's part of it. But even the coating itself, why isn't this this coating as durable as plating? The way it's applied, maybe. Yeah, how is metallicizing applied? Vacuum. Yeah, and so what's happening? It just kind of goes up and sits on the surface, right? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. It's just loosely on there yeah. until it gets cured. Yeah, it's just kind of stuck to the surface. When we do the electroplating, how is it being bonded? Cooked on there. No. It was actually joining the molecule, molecules yeah. together yeah. and using the electrical process to, to bind everything together so that the, the two parts were stuck harder. The Here they're just kind of sitting next okay. to each other. So one few, like you said, fused yeah. in and one just yeah. kind of like coated over later. Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> and also this layer is a lot thinner. Um, and then what about porcelain? That's what my toilet's made out of. Yeah. So, ceramic stuff is covered in porcelain a lot, right? Why? Because it's clean. Yeah. It's well, what makes it easy to clean? It's durable, it's glass, it's like a glass one. Yeah, it, it's glass basically, right? Yeah. It's glass, and so they paint it on, they melt it, and it makes a, a smooth glass coating over the whole thing. So there's no, cr no cracks or spots for stuff to get into. So it's easy to clean, easy to take care of, it's hard. Um, it's not going to get damaged real easy. What else do they porcelain coat? They porcelain coat Manicons. ceramics. What else do they porcelain coat? Those little dolls that look all freaky. So that's still ceramic, right? Oh. Um, porcelain? Electrical parts. Oh, teeth. The teeth? I got one right here. It's a brand new one. What else? But what else? What about in industrial sites? What would we make that would porcelain coat that's not... Wait, what? But that's still ceramic, right? Oh, porcelain. There's a lot of uh, high voltage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Capacitors, uh, conductors. Yeah, so like um, insulators for electric poles. Spark plugs. Spark plugs. What else? Resistors, uh, they've, got, they've got some ceramic stuff in. But what about, think about the, anything that's not ceramic based they can put porcelain on. Hmm. 
bet you have one in your house, or maybe a couple di different items in your house that are porcelain but not ceramic underneath. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, sinks? Plates? Yeah, sinks. They porcelain coat sinks. So it's metal underneath, and then they'll porcelain coat it. What's another thing that they'll, they'll porcelain coat? Showers? Yeah, showers, bathtubs, right? Yeah. So it's metal for the support and they'll put porcelain for the nice finish. Anything else? Tile? Tile. Well, that's ceramic underneath, right? Yeah. yeah. So, like cookware? Cookware. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cookware. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, all right, so what I want you to do now is look up Can you add a nice steel? Sure. So while you look it up, uh, we'll take 15 minutes, uh, and then we'll take a break. So at 2.30, we'll come back and we'll talk about that.